Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're into the losers bracket final, and it is going to be the contract up against Prism Esports here. And a best of three starting off with the map we just saw the team of the contract take in a very, very close match against Orbit in the last one. So it's going to be Fuel Depot execution for those who don't know me. I'm Lockdog. And joining me here in this one will be Vicious once I unmute him on the stream. How's it going? How's it going, bro? How are you doing? Good, good. Keen to see what happens in this match. We'll see how uh, Prism go. Prism's going to... Uh, Sorry, D2 is going to be able to pick up a kill, but it's all the contract after that. They're going to get a lot of downs. Trinder is there, puts some shots out. He has to back off now. He's in a 1v3 situation. And a good start here from the team of the contract. Oh, well, that was a nice quick round. Well played by Infuse. Had them set up ready. They got the fast side, obviously, on uh, Locust, so Infuse have the advantage of pushing inside and making the boom shot. But it did seem like Prism challenged, but just didn't seem like it went in the favour that round. Yeah, we'll jump on board with him again. I want to jump on board with Trinder. Obviously teamed with him before, you know how he plays. What do you expect from him here on this map? I'm expecting him maybe to do a little bit of support. Maybe try and make a play for the boom shot. Oh, no, well, unfortunately he's not. Um, he might try and actually make a play for the sniper here. Playing with him and he wasn't the team sniper for our team, but Trinder is an impressive sniper. I'll give it to him. He is. He can pull off some disgusting headshots. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see what Trinder can actually pull off here against... Contra. Oh, it was Jack that pick off the, picks off the first headshot, and it's going to be A that pushes in. He's going to try and pick up a kill, and he gets the kill there on Jack. That was very long range to get the headshot. Phelpsy. Would have been very weak. Phelps, he picks up Nico, and crazy. He's going to be able to get it down there, and Phelps, he's going to clean up that kill. So we're back to Trinda. See what he can do with this uh, sniper. Frag goes out. That's going to be too long. Yeah. Yeah, I think he just took a took a bit too long with the snipe. I think he was just trying to maybe pick off a headshot a little bit too long. I think he should have pushed up, got with his team a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was unfortunate sitting back, got himself cornered in. He's got no chance of getting out of that car, to be honest. Yeah, it hasn't been a good start here from Prism. If uh, those that haven't been following the competition too closely, it was Prism that knocked the contract into the losers bracket with a 2-0 victory. Contract obviously not playing quite as well as they are right now. Jack has been able to take D2 down, but wasn't able to pick up the kill. Has picked up the boom. I believe he swapped his shotgun out for that one. But uh, he has pushed up. It's the down there on D2 yet again. D2 is going to go down. Trinder's down as well. Long shot goes out. Gonna Beautiful take down boom Nico, shot. And that's a great boom shot, as you said. Uh, this is just pure carnage at the moment for uh, Contract. They're playing this beautifully. Uh, Orbit pulled off better. The 1 4 3 against Orbit. It doesn't seem like Prison, Prison are doing anything like special at the moment. They just don't seem to be capitalising on. Anything that Infused are doing, um, contract, sorry. Yeah, it's, um, it's interesting, they're just, just playing a little bit too passive. I don't, I don't, I don't know, they're, they're, not, they're not making the plays that they, they need to make. They're not getting the first kill of the round. It always seems to be the contract that are pushing up, making something happen, getting those first kills out. And uh, it, mm -hmm. it seems like... Prism are just reacting to what the contract are doing. And you never want to be the team that's reacting. You want to be the team that's proactive about getting kills, about making the plays. If you're reacting, you're always one step behind. Yeah, that's it. You need to act on the plays. You need to capitalise on what the team's doing. You need to see what strap they're pulling. And you just work on your communication. I think it'll be difficult with this team, obviously, with Trinda being... English, like I said earlier, the, the communication will be a little bit difficult for him, but I think I, I can't really see this map going in Prism's favour at the minute. Yeah, I think, uh, as you were saying, that communication difference is, uh, for those who, who don't know, the Prism team, uh, I believe most of them are from France. They speak French, and uh, Trinda yeah, obviously being French. from 
from England, it's going to be a little bit difficult with the language barrier there. Obviously, they'll be able to make some call-outs, but not, not a great deal. So I think these slow-paced slow maps, the bigger maps are going to be in favour of the teams playing against them, the contract here at the moment. But if, if they do get small maps, if there's a clock tower or... Um, maybe a mansion in this rotation, then they definitely have a little bit, a little bit of an easier time because there's not quite as much communication go into those maps. It's more yeah. of a free for all shotgun battle there in the middle. So these slow paced maps, it will be interesting to see how they play it out. Yeah, it's interesting to see uh, Prism picking up that boom shot so smoothly. It's like you've got M Curries with the sniper, and you also have reaction with the sniper. I thought they would have at least maybe tried to position themselves somewhere where they're going to maybe pop the boom shot when he went for the pickup. You don't really see people casually walking in picking up the boom shot like Nico just did there. It was a bit, a bit strange, to be honest. Yeah, it's, um, it's been a very strange round it like the team of the contract they're playing very passive for a team that's got two snipers and uh have have the lead they're three oh up it if they if they make a mistake this round it's not the end of the world it's not the end of the game they've still got a two round lead even if they lose this one so i don't know they're just being a little bit too passive for for mine and they're allowing the boom shots to go over to the team uh of prism and ruthless yeah. Throw a nade out. I think they're going to try and get the. Them. Maybe draw the round out. I think the plan is to try and tie this round out, and then next round they will have the fast side. So they'll just be able to dominate the fast side straight away and get the 4 0. Yeah, it uh, seems to be that way, but Aid makes a push and does yeah. get taken down. So it's a 3v2 now, and they, they have the advantage. The boom shot has been used once, so there's only one boom left. Boom shot, make that zero. Ooh. So there's there's no booms left. They could make a play here on the two players. A three v two definitely could be big advantage. Nico's trying to get away here in mid. Does put one shot out. Misses the second one. Can he get a third? I believe he's missed oh, a couple. Oh, Nico, and Nico. He's just missing a lot. He will be able to take down MK <laughs> Ray as Trinda picks up a kill and hopefully he can uh, survive for his team's sake. There, but Jack, yeah. he's going to be able to slide in and pick up the kill. Yeah, I think uh, the pressure got the Nico a little bit. I think he was missing shots. Yes. Uh, Jack just sweeping in there, absolutely destroying him, giving him no chance. He wanted to get that 4-0. He wanted to get the map out of the way with. Get to the next one. Well, that's a big start. And Nico, as you said, just he, he hit the first shot so cleanly. He didn't really even need to middle the next shot. He just had to, to clip him at all. He would have gone down, but just missed a lot. Eventually mm -hmm. got the kill. And, uh, but wasn't enough. He got taken down, and that is going to be the map. 4-0, as you said, to the contract. A huge start there for them. Yeah, it was. It was a bit unfortunate. He could have, if he, if he maybe pulled off that kill, I think he could have maybe got himself away, drew the round out, and hopefully maybe pulled it back. But getting onto Mansion, this should be interesting. You've got two teams that are all dominant with shotgun as. Mansion is a pretty hit and miss map to be honest with you. It's not a type of map you can guarantee a win on, so this should, this should be interesting to see how this one's going to plan out. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, I think Mansion probably uh, goes back into the favour of Prism. Prism, they have... Uh, they, they would have a bit of confidence from the fact that they 2 0 this team earlier on. I'll actually have a look at what uh, what maps that would have been on. It was winner's bracket round two, so it would have been Mansion and then Clock Tower. I was saying that the two fast-paced maps, Mansion and Clock Tower, are going to be the two maps that they are probably pretty happy with and they, they want to uh, they want to play because there's not a great deal of communication involved with those two maps, um, and except for maybe the, the initial push. After that, it's it's mm -hmm. just basically straight up gunfight. Make sure you've got all angles covered, and it's a pretty standard sort of game plan that they could run with on both of those maps. Again, here on Mansion, they can do the same thing. I think they're gonna have a again, as I said, a bit of confidence from beating yeah. the contract already here on this map. They're going to go into it again. If they win this one, though, it is going to go to a War Machine map number three. A little bit of a bigger map again. A bit more strategy involved mm -hmm. in that one. So it'll be interesting to see how they work on that. But we're not there yet. We're still waiting for them to start up on Mansion. And I 
just I don't know who to pick here because the uh, the way that the contract played then, realistically, yeah, very strong. realistically, I think, yeah, contract they should dominate it like realistic contract. They are they are the best team on the game, but they they should they're a full team as well. Prism are minus one player, so they should realistically dominate this math with them obviously having practice and they've they've been been a team for a while. So, but. I think, like like I say, it's a hit and miss map. Prism are all dominant shotgunners. I think it could it could go either way. To be honest, it, it could. It should should be good. Should be really really interesting. It could possibly, I think, maybe be a four three. Might be a four three game. We'll get to the three three tiebreaker. That's definitely what we want to see. That's what we want to see on stream anyway. Everyone likes to see that uh that four three game because it's always uh always. A great thing to watch, but at the moment we uh, we're just waiting for not hundred percent sure what, but one of the players obviously just uh, not there at the moment, just waiting to make sure that everyone in the map is ready. It is a one zero lead to the contract for those that haven't been following or have just tuned in. This is the does play four v four European Pro Series for Gears of War. And uh, this is the professional bracket, loser's bracket final between Prism and the contract. We've seen a lot of games so far today. The winner's bracket round one was uh, all 2-0s, which was a little bit surprising. But the eight teams that we saw today, the contract, uh, who are currently in this match, Versatile, who were taken out in loser's round two. The Cool, who were unfortunately dropped out very very quickly prism the other team here in this match passion gaming who unfortunately had to forfeit their second round match and dropped out of the competition orbit who were beaten in the last round uh vivified who are currently waiting in the finals and equinox who the contract beat to make it into losers round three so they are the eight teams that made it into the pro bracket you can go and check them out over on doesplay.com slash events look for the uh Click on the European tab, also click on the Xbox One tab, and you'll find the Gears of War Pro Series there, front and center, the started event, and you can click on that one, find all the brackets for all the competitions, uh, or all the uh, all the divisions here for today's competition. 41 teams, which is a huge effort yet again. Over 40 teams, I believe, in the last, uh, in the last six or seven comps, we've only had one... Uh, one competition not get above 40, uh, 40 teams, and that was, I believe, uh, still made it to 38 or so. So a huge turnout here for European Gow, and it's great to see uh, the community uh, getting behind the competition, signing up, and wanting to make sure that they get into those finals at the end of February. Yeah, it is good. <clears throat> it's good seeing 40-plus uh, for teams. It's, uh, it is a relief because people get... Um, a bit upset that gears is going down a little bit, but it's, since Ultimate Edition, it's it's uh, it's came right back up. I think everyone's getting back into it. Like you say, there's 40 plus teams at tournament, so it's looking really really good for the EU Gau scene at the moment. Definitely is, and uh, the the quality of teams that we've seen have been very very impressive. Um, as we've seen the contract, they've been pretty much number one all the way through, and we've seen a lot of teams around that sort of area um, trying to take them on. But they're so far ahead in the pro points that they uh, they've all they've, they've I think they've definitely guaranteed themselves in the top 16 spot. But they want to make sure they stay first seed because in that finals ODC that we will see at the end of February. Uh, don't know exactly the date. I'll have to go check that one for you, but. Um, yeah, the first seed will start off playing against the 16th seed. It will be a double elimination, so if you do get knocked out early, you will be uh, you will have that second chance. But it will be a big competition. It will be for 1,000 euros there, the total prize pool. So definitely uh, make sure to go sign up. Having a look at 16th seed, they do have almost 20,000 points. However, if uh, your team can come in and consistently win competitions then there's no reason you still can't make it there's still a few weeks to go and it there is uh there is 2000 points for the winner of each bracket up on offer per player so that's 8000 for the team so 
basically, if you can uh, if you can win three weeks in a row, you've got enough points to make it into that top 16 there at the moment. So we'll see, we'll track how those points are going, but definitely, even if you haven't played a Pro Series as of yet, you think you can make it in that top 16 and give yourself a chance for that final series, make sure to go and sign up for the next competition, which will be on Sunday, uh, Sunday night starting from 6 p.m. GMT. Uh, it seems like Chris is back in the game. Looks like the game is about to start. It's kicking off. That's what we all like to see as we will get straight into the action here on Mansion. We've been talking a bit about how uh, the contract have really dominated that first map 4 and 0, oh, but Prism were able to uh, knock the contract into the loser's bracket with a 2-0 victory. Unfortunately, I've disconnected from the game, which is not what we want to see. So, uh, guys, while we get that all sorted, I might go to a quick break, and uh, we'll be back very, very soon with map number two between the contract and Prism Esports.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting into the match finally here on Mansion. That little break may have given uh, Prism a little bit of time to think about what they need to do here on this map. They've already beaten the contract once on this map today. Earlier on in the comp, that was winner's bracket round two. They were able to 2-0 the contract there and knock them down into the loser's bracket. The contract currently 1-0 up in this series and looking to uh, get this victory as cleanly as possible here for them. We're going to jump into the action for those who don't know. I'm Lockdog. Joining me is Vicious and we'll see who we want to jump on board with. I think I want to see what Nico. the team of Prism can do, and Nico, I said he went off last time I saw him on stream, let's see what he can do. Yeah, let's see what Nico's about, he's going to play nades, try and get an angle on Boomshaw. A lot of nice shots there is uh, oh. D2, some nades go out, he gets two kills, a kill on his teammate, but two kills on the enemy, so it makes it a 3v2 situation. D2 is actually going to get one more. Can he get the last kill as well? He can't. Uh, he's going to try and chase in. Player there. Is he going to be able to get that down? Yes, he is. They all go down, and there we go. The first round nice coming out play. from Prism. Some nice grenades. Eh? He did. He got the friendly fire kill, but there were some nice grenades by D2. Made a good play. Jump on board with. Uh, jump on board with hard damage A. We'll see what he can do. As uh, he's going to throw that uh, smoke out. Doesn't look like they want to go aggressive onto this boom shot just yet. We're just waiting, trying to get on this wall. As the nades do come in, he's just going to slide away from those. Does get damaged up a little bit, but should be able to survive that one. As there is a player right there, and he can't get on the cover. Has to back behind the sandbags as D2 is going to be able to pick up a kill. Phelpsy shuts that one down. Nico's going to get it down. Trinda also going to take out. Uh, M crazed and ruthless going down. Velpsy now down from the boom shot, and he's going to be the last alive. And dropped 2-0 to Prism. Yeah, it was some beautiful player on the eye there. It's seeing that the the guy came in from the middle section, hit the eye, managed to get the guy in boom shot down. That was some lovely play on the eye there. Nice boom shot by Angels to finish him off. See what Phelps he can do. I'm going to jump on board with him because it's the contract that is struggling here so far early on in this one. As uh, it looks like uh, the team of Prism have been throwing one inside and coming out towards those nades. Two kills or uh, two downs already. Sorry, is uh, M Crazed is going to take down Nico. Trend is going to be able to take down Ruthless in reply. So it's going to be a two v two here at the moment as Prism goes down that boom shot. Is going to be able to shut him down. M Craig, not sure whether he's able to go for that kill. He's going to be able to now. A Trinda headshot oh. there with the snub. M Craig's picking that one up 2 1. Yeah, it was a nice pistol. Beautiful play by Craig, taking the 1v1. Turning him around to support Phelps, just shooting him, getting the pistol headshot. Beautiful teamwork. some good teamwork so far. I'm going to jump on board with Jack. He's actually going to go inside this time, looking towards these nades. As uh, he slides straight out, has a little bit of an angle on the player down the bottom, but doesn't seem to be able to get any shots off. Has been taken very low, throws the nades out, going to go down. D2 is going to be the one to pick that kill up and take Phelpsy down as well. Trinda trying to push in across towards this Boonshot player. Ooh. Rolls into that uh, barrier there as shots go out. Trinda actually takes down two kills. Nico going to take down one on the top side. And the team of Prism picking it up. Trinda, five kills, five downs, one death. Definitely stepping up here on this map. Yeah, Prism, they're going to work on contract at the moment. It doesn't seem like Jack's having a good game this game. Zero to four. It's not often you ever see Jack at the bottom of the map. Just doesn't seem to be going in his favour at the minute. He's the player that has been dominating so far. There we go. Jack gets his first kill on the map with the boom shot. And it looks like the team of the contract are going to be able to back out somewhat with the boom shot safely. Now they're pushing up this top side. D2's able to take down Ruthless there to make it a 3v3 situation. Boom shot's still in control of the contract though. As Prism. Are we going to see uh, some sniper yeah. play? D2 going up the top? Yeah, it looks like D2's going to make a play on snipe. Seems like they're trying to hold inside. I think they might 
I'm not too sure. I can't remember if it would, which side they're spawned on, but I'm not too sure if they're going to try and maybe get the round draw because the opposite side they have more of an advantage. They play better on the opposing side, so I think they might try and tie this round out maybe. Not get risk getting losing another round. Everyone playing uh, very slow. It looks like uh, the team of the contractor happy to sit outside and not do a whole lot. Jack looking inside, but he knows that they've got the sniper. And this is actually the first time I think I've streamed Mansion for a long time where someone's actually looked at that sniper and a great rotation oh. there from Prism. That was beautiful to get the angle on Jack, get that headshot, and now they can push up three players against two, and they know at least where one is. I think Jack was boom shot. There. I think Jack had the boom shot. I think that's why they're making a, an aggressive play because there's no more boom shots left. Able to take down Phelpsy, and now it's going to be a 1v3. Oh. Nico picks it up, and Prism 4 1 dominant victory. Yeah, I thought that was impressive by Prism. Like I said, Mansion's a hit and miss map. You can't really expect anybody to win a Mansion. You got Contract, one of the best teams on the game, and they've been absolutely shut down on Mansion 4 1. Oh, that was that was beautiful play. Some good plays by Trinder as well. Didn't really get to spectate him too much, but it seemed like he was making some good kills in that game. Yeah, as I said, five kills, five downs. Definitely was doing a lot of work for his team. But that rotation there at the end, they got the sniper. They worked out where the enemy was. Rotated around, and I think the height of Canis probably uh, worked against Jack there. As he got head popped off and... Um, mm -hmm. a nice War kill. Machine should be interesting. Yeah, as, as I was saying before, War Machine, I think uh, mm -hmm. I think the contract definitely have the advantage on this map. There's a bit more team play, a bit more strategy yeah. involved. And Prism, they didn't show that they had a great deal of ability to work the map when it's a little bit bigger and they're a bit more spread out over on Field Depot. So I'm not sure whether they're going to be able mm -hmm. to make big plays here on I think the personally I think this will this should probably go in contracts flavor the most of the times I play contract the dominant on this map the it's a good map for them Jack Jack normally makes some sick players on this map get some good kills some vital kills so I think well, in my opinion I think contract should have this one yeah there there is a fairly standard setup though you will see one player over on the sniper, one on the uh, catwalk, one near the mid side and one up top. So you would expect Prism to at least get that one right, make sure that they uh, have control of that, and then they can work around uh, around that and, and just work with what downs they get just, just by working with themselves. And There is still three players that Playing all can slow. communicate together. Uh, obviously, it's just, just going to be Trinder, the player that may have trouble communicating oh, yeah. with the rest of the team so it's it's not like they all speak different languages they still have a, a decent amount of communication yeah uh, it's, it's started off pretty slow this map doesn't seem like anybody's been aggressive on the mid section obviously it's the final map so it's on the line at the minute so i don't think anyone's wanting to rush into any aggressive players they want to slip up Oh, looks like they're going to make a push up in the middle. Looks like Angels is maybe going to try and get the kill on the catwalk. Ooh, that's some nice flanking fire there from D2 from up top. He was able to get the cross, and they were able to take down Ruthless. Eye damage, A, able to turn around, oh, get three oh, kills damage. with the Nasher. That's huge. Angel. Beautiful, beautiful shotgunning. And that was just... Dominance. He moved in to get the player that was down. D2 was up the top and got the uh, got the crossfire shots, got the down, and then he, he just pushed in three kills. That was huge. Yeah, that was beautiful by Angels. Really good gameplay. Messi, Messi by contract. Shouldn't have really went steaming in. Angels played it really, really well. We'll see what he can do this time as I'm spectating him yet again as he moves up on the boxes. He's going to have to back off as the nades come in, but he does uh, does force the nades out, so he knows that the other team doesn't have any nades left. Jack does get put to four-point red, but 
We'll be able to survive that one. Yes. And there's giving Jack a run for his money on that section of the map. There we go, he's, he's gonna go down, but Prism's actually, uh, sorry, D2 is able to hit back with a down of his own. D2 gets Jack down yet again as uh, Ruthless is gonna oh. take down uh, Angel, and there we go, Trinder also gonna drop. So a 2v4 situation, Phelps gonna drop D2, and we'll jump on board with Phelps. He's gonna pick up the last kill more than likely. As they all go down, he picks up the kill and a 1-1 scoreline after two rounds. Yeah, it was a it was a funky round that one. Played it well, contract. Didn't really couldn't really see where it was going to be honest with you, but contract just seemed to dominate. Straight into this one, Nico looking on this right side yet again, just some shots going out with Reaction. that snub. Trey is also looking for some shots on the cross, not looking at each other as Phelps here, I believe he threw out both of his nades there pretty early. And now he doesn't have any nades up the top side, so he's just going to have the snub to try and push up on this Troika. As he is trying to get some nice flanking and uh, Angel goes down, there we go, Ruthless with a headshot with the snub. Uh, looks like Jack's going to try and... Oh, it doesn't matter. Ruthless has taken him out. I thought Jack was going to try and make the play on the catwalk. Looks like Ruthless hit the midsection and just taken him out before Jack had to push him. I think they're going to try and single this guy out up top. Make a play on him. They're trying, but he's just holding out with this uh, with this Lancer here at the moment. Shots go out. Is he going to be able to get that down? Must be very, very close. So he's a player there. Nico's oh. going to be able to help him out to pick up that kill. Should they be able to get this second kill? That'll make it a 2v2. He does pick up that one as his teammate does go down. That's going to be Nico. D2 trying to push around this side. Knows that there's a player up top. There's a player behind him as well. He's got to go for one of them as the nade doesn't drop there. As he's just going to try and go for this chase. Has to try and get this kill soon. He can't afford to just sit back as he Pushes in, gets oh, the kill on him, Craze. Now it's going to be a 1v1 as Phelpsy is going to try and chase in. Is he going to be able to get this kill? Got a nice chunk of damage there. Almost goes down himself. And Prism, oh, D2, D2 gets the kill. And D2 gets the clutch. Three That's huge. And 5-1. Beautiful, and one. beautiful play. Great play, as you said. 2-1. And just two pieces of individual brilliance have got Prism two rounds out of the last three and the contract they have got to be getting nervous yeah i put a big grin on my face d2 played that absolutely amazing there that was a 2v4 situation the teamwork between them was was quality nico making a couple of downs before he got killed and then d2 coming in there just cleaning them up that was that was just beautiful play by d2 quality gameplay very very good game so far here between these two teams and Definitely worthy of a loser bracket final match up here. And the winner of this match, if this isn't even the grand final, the winner of this match goes up against Vivify in the grand final up next. So this is a huge map. Phelpsy just putting some shots down the bottom. Sees a player there, doesn't get a lot of hits, but just forces that player back as it does look like the contract have got control of the talk on. This round a little bit slower oh, Jack and Trinder goes down. Yeah, it was lovely play by Jack. A little shotgun battle on the midsection, and that uh, stops taking out straight away. Yeah, D2. Oh, we've got some uh, Troika action there, as it doesn't pay off a great deal. Jack, very low, must be uh, definitely just one shot off and down, but Angel goes down there. As M Craze goes in, Nico is going to drop as well. The nade blows up, and Contract hit back with a round of their own. Yeah, you can see, you can see Prism are playing really, really aggressive. They were they were pushing really, really hard there. It's a good way to play against Contract, Contract or a team that you don't really want to play passive against. They play aggressive and it normally plans out better for you. Well, we'll get into this round. Really don't know who to follow. I might jump on board with Trinder. He hasn't got a kill as of yet. Just jumping across, actually. Looks like Angel's going to take down Ruthless early on in the round. So that's going to be a 3v4. Make that a 2v4 as Prism's going to take down Jack as well. Phelpsy uh, is going to be able to hit back oh, with D2. a kill. And D2 takes down one. And now it's going to be a 1v3 situation. Phelpsy here as he's getting pushed out by three players. He's going to go down. D2 picks up another kill. 
And D2 Prism is on two. fire. What he just done there was absolutely beautiful. Oh, he's he's playing like a machine. He's absolutely he's he's doing some quality plays for his team at the moment. It's a he's dominating this map. I want to follow him, see what he's going to do here on this map because he has been playing out of his mind. Currently, eight kills, two deaths. Just freakish play here at the moment uh, as he looks for this nade. Just going to go long, pretty long into there. mid. One long, one short. Doesn't look like he's going to connect with either, but does have the angle. He's got a nice that angle up top. Mid. That player should go down, doesn't quite, as he must be very weak and he has to back off. Trinder is there as Jack oh, takes reactive. down Angel there on that mid side, so that's a big kill there for the team of the contract. As Trinder goes down, can he get away? Nico gets the revive, but Trinder gets headshotted by Jack with the snub yet again. So a 2v4 situation here, D2 still alive though. Get you going. Oh. Uh, this is this is an exciting map. It looks like it's gonna go to uh, I'm not I don't want to jinx that at the minute because D2 and Nico pulled it off last time. They could D2 they could win, that's, but that's uh all that Prism need here at the Yeah moment. yeah. But it uh, could possibly be a free free. It's going to be a tie break around. It's been been an amazing match. It's been a pleasure to watch this match. Yeah, Torpo now in the hands of the contractors. D2 just sitting up on this top side as Nico is sitting a little bit lower, trying to uh, trying to survive and allow his teammate to just put on some covering fire. Uh, shoots go out, Nico. He's going. Uh, Getting damage onto him. There's a player to his right. Doesn't get that shot off and goes down now. And it's going to be D2 in a 1v4. Can he get these kills? He goes down. And here we go. Map number three, round number seven. This round decides. Yeah, who this goes is what you want to see. 3 3, tie break around. This is what it's all about. Looks like Nico and Trinda. They need to start picking up the game this round. And they've got no kills at the moment. They need to start going to work. They need to show what they can do. Well, I'm on board with uh, Ruthless. He's been playing that mid side very well for his team so far. As he's been sitting back. Having a look at the scoreboard. Uh, Crazed is four, four kills, four downs. And three deaths. But eight kills, eight downs for D2. It's just been ridiculous. And he gets oh, taken out by a nade. That's big for the team of the contract. Now they can start making some plays. They have the advantage as Angel. We saw him take a triple kill with Anasha earlier on in the game. Can he do that again as he's looking for the kills? Trinder has to back off that mid side as he's just going to wait on at the mid and it looks like that sniper is going to be picked up by the team of the contract Nico can't stop that one from being picked up they do get the talk of in reply though Phelps he can't get uh, the stop on that one either and it looks like uh, Angel is up top side and he has the height advantage here there's two players here they're going to push him can he get these kills he has to try and get a 2v1 here as he pushes in two players right in front of him can he get oh, Angel. can he get the turn no he gets taken down by ruthless so it's a 2v2 oh. now as trinder hits the torque bow just like that just like that 2v2 situation this is an intense round looks like trinder make getting his first kill there as usual normally when people get the first kills the vital kills means that trinder's first one was vital took it to a 2v2 situation well, Nico hasn't got a kill so far this map, but he definitely helped out D2 in that clutch before when it was a 4v2 situation. Yeah. He got two downs that were crucial in that. He, that's all he needs to do. He needs, if he gets two downs now, that's that's game for the team of Prism. Can they do it, though? They're going to play it slow. Both teams know how important this round is to their chances of getting into this grand final. They do not want to make a mistake so I think they're going to uh, be looking to just sit back and play very very passive here on this one yeah I don't think anybody's looking to make a play I think they're just going to try and get this a tie breaker maybe send well nah it's not the type of map you can send somebody to run in at the last second and try and take them out it's risky so I think they're just going to try and settle it take it to the next round 
Yeah, I think both teams pretty uh, solid on sitting back here. It's um, just over a minute t to go here in this one, and I think both teams are content with the situation they're at. Smoke goes out, though, making sure that those nades aren't picked up. Trinder may be looking for a torque bow down on the player that is with the sniper. Nades are there, but I don't think they want to make too much of a play on them. Yeah. About 40 seconds on the clock. You can tell Jack. He's Jack just looks itching to go running in, try and kill them both. But he knows he doesn't want to risk it. Doesn't look like I don't think they know that uh, that Nico's pushed so far back at the moment. So they do have the ability to pick up nades. They have 20 seconds to make something happen here. As Trinder has got a torque bow ready, he, if he can get a stick, then they can push up 2v1. But will he risk it? Doesn't look like he's going to make anything happen. He's just going to sit back. He's he's happy to. Uh, to concede this round to a stalemate, and that's what it's going to be with three seconds left to go. Nothing going to happen here. And the, uh, the intensity go. just increases. Both teams have had some amazing plays. Phelpsy is seven kills, four deaths. It's D2 that's got eight kills, eight downs, and four deaths. I'm going to jump on board with Phelpsy. He's going to go up top, and I believe D2 is the player that he is directly contesting. Two players up top here Quick play from on Prism. Ball. They're looking for Try. this kill on Phelpsy. If they can uh, get in, they can definitely make something happen, but it doesn't look like uh, they're able to. Is has been uh, snuffed out, and all well, that frag could be dangerous by Phelps. He doesn't get the kill as that player in mid has to try and survive. Here as the nade goes out, does get... Jack to uh, duck for cover and stun him momentarily, but he doesn't get it. And a lot of players up on this top side here at the moment. Trinder still sitting down the bottom and trying to just cross this player out that's on the bottom side. D2 also up here. And it's one of those rounds that both teams tried something different and <laughs> now we've got a very stale situation where neither team wants to push. Yeah, this is very interesting seeing, uh, well, you had three players up top there. Not often you would normally see three on three players up top holding it out. Uh, it was very interesting. It looks like they're going to maybe try and yeah, go rotating, make a play for the sniper. Jack is here. The sniper has been taken. I believe that was Trinder that's picked that sniper up. And he's just going to be the, trying to get away. And it is D2 is down there to uh, assist. So they don't want to run at D2. He's been dominating so far. Trinder not connecting with that shot. Sees a couple of players go up the top side. So he needs to call that out to his team. So he's one there. Oh, gets the body shot. Oh, Doesn't connect with the headshot. Nearly. There. Could have been vital. Could have been a vital headshot. Definitely is. Uh, still, after almost three minutes in this round, or two uh, two minutes mm -hmm. in this round, there's no one dead yet. It's been <laughs> very slow, very methodical from both teams. Neither team wanting to make a mistake. And... You can understand oh. how much pressure this uh, this situation gives for every player. It's intense. It is. It's an intense match. No one's wanting to win. You can see that there's uh, everybody's active on the the feed on Twitch. Everyone's talking. So I think it, uh contract have a lot on the line at the moment. I think they're going to get a lot of stick if they end up losing this map. So they've got a uh, they've got a lot a lot on the line. There's some comments getting dropped in here about contract, RIP. <laughs> yeah, I'm having oh. a look at that. Great to see we're over 100 viewers as well uh, for the stream. I think it's the first time today we've had over 100. Hopefully that just continues to uh, rise here for this one. Mm -hmm. For now, this round has still just gone slowly and we're almost at the one minute to go mark with no one dead. It's just ridiculous how this has uh, played out so far. And the, I believe that was a Torquo pickup from the team of the contract. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jack's That's gonna interesting to see what's well. going to happen. So Jack has the Torquo ready, but four. he's getting s 
just scope there by Trinity. He's going to go for the, uh, just drop one over the top, or is he going to go for a sneaky angle in the middle? Doesn't want to kill himself by sticking it to the wall in front of him, so going to back off that one. 24 seconds left, still 4v4. No one going down. Phelpsy, that nade, or oh, that could be a good nade over towards Trinder, but it's not going to take him down. So this yeah. one... Gonna be, Very uh, passive. It's going to be a stalemate uh, as Angels is going to pick up one kill before going down. Shots go out. One second left. And another draw. Yep, interesting. Interesting round again. Only two deaths in the last 20 seconds. The full team stayed alive for the full round. I think their uh, contract might make a play on the sniper. I've seen them They'll have a snipe strap and they normally rush the snipes or... It's a possibility. Well, they're sending three players to the right side after the spawn, so that means they're going or well, looking for the top side again. So only one player going down to the sniper, I believe. Yeah. So they're not going for that one. There's Prism D2. <coughs> the player that has been so dominant so far. Looking for those cross shots as he gets crossed out himself, so has to back down off that one. Again, a very slow round. Phelpsy just uh, putting in some nades. Not going to connect with anyone just yet, but Angels is going to go down. Ruthless, can he push in for this kill? It's going to be Trinder. There's going to be two players pushing him this side. Nades go out to save. And that's shot. Phelpsy jumping on that Troika, trying to get the quick Troy kill. And I believe that was Angels that's gone down. Trinder's been able to survive, but this is going to be a. Sorry, Angels has gone down again. Let's see if we can find him. I believe he got revived. Oh no, he's still down, but he should be able to get up. But he might go down again as soon as he gets down. Yeah, there we go. He's going to drop. So, M crazed. Picked up that kill. Now it's going to be a 3v4 situation. We've seen Prism come out on top in these situations before. The contract, can they make their numbers advantage count here on this map? Yeah, good kill by Chris. Making sure the focus are down. He gets up. Take him out. Looks like they're going to try and settle it this round. They've got the man up. They need to take advantage. Got the they need to try and get this one in the bag. M Crazed is looking to make a play over on this sniper side. That torque bow is going to miss. And again, yet again, another miss. Now they're going to try and push on M Crazed as he is there. He does go weak. And it's going to be Nico trying to push up along with D2. Can they get this kill? Uh, Jack Ron's going to take him down. Trinder gets one. Uh, sorry, Trinder goes down. Nico goes down. And D2 is going to be the last alive. But he is going to be down. And the contract come out after what was a... Oh, what was that? Nine, ten round game. Nine round game, sorry, with two stalemates. Four, three... Mm -hmm. They were able to take the victory, and what a game between these two teams. That was just ridiculous. A 2-1 scoreline overall of maps, but that 4-3 after nine rounds between these two teams on War Machine, that is going to be one that you want to go... Want to, <laughs> that teams are going to want to go back and watch on the VODs um, in the next couple of days. So that's, uh, that is just huge, huge games from both yeah, teams. Yeah, that was... a. Uh... Good game. I haven't seen. There's been many matches that have been that intense. That was that was hardcore. There was some beautiful game plays. D2 was pulling off some amazing, amazing kills against Contract. Um, yeah, that was that was an, an outstanding game. Yeah, that was uh, that was huge. Um, there for that game, but that does mean the Contract are going to go into the grand final to take on Vivify for the title of uh for well for first place here in tonight's uh 4v4 gears of war pro series for eu that was an intense match between the contract and prison but it was the contract that come out in the lead there for that one guys don't go anywhere because we will have the next match coming up very very soon so stay put while we go to a quick break before the grand final here in the Does Play 4v4 Pro Series here for Gears of War in Europe.